you want a GMC Denali truck, okay, truck specific, this is $51,000, this particular Which one. Which is a lot. Is a lot. Until the next cheapest Sierra Denali truck. 1500. 1500, we go up to the half ton. Right. Is 70 something thousand dollars. So 20 grand job. This is $20,000 okay. cheaper than the next Denali. Welcome to the Texas Truck Channel, I'm Brian. And I'm sweating. Okay, yeah, because it's 111 oh. degrees today and it's, well, we're in Texas, that's how it is. This is our hottest shoot of the year. It's our hottest shoot of the year because next week it's gonna be 98 instead of 111 and it'll probably go down from there as the sun quits visiting us as long during the day. So all that out of the way, we are driving a Doozy Craig. This is a 2023 GMC Canyon Denali. And I'm gonna read you the sticker price real quick because people ask that all the time. $51,000 even, I like that they rounded that out. It has two options, a $1,000 sunroof and $500 for black paint, which I'm not sure why that costs more because this isn't even metallic. Um, okay, so for black paint, it costs more. Don't know why. Not a bad paint. It's just not like out of this world or anything like that. But let's talk about styling initially. This trim does give you the wider track width over the base Canyon or base Colorado. This is the same track width that the ZR2 has or the Chevy Trailboss has. I like this a lot right at 66 inches versus 63 right but three inches look three hey. doesn't matter <clears throat> hey <clears throat> but honestly in footprint this looks good and it feels stable we have towed with the trail boss flavor of this platform and it's very very stable it's right on par with a standard width full-size truck it's really close to that so but you still have your body panels are all inboard so you can fit into places you can fit otherwise so styling wise you do have a thin headlight big signature grill and then a second pod down here for your actual headlights these are actually just running lights up here and turn signals but they tie together with a split to here so when you hit your blinker you can see this whole thing just illuminate off a vehicle in front of you. it looks really cool I, I like its presence a lot you also get a little hidden gem right here an actual separate fog light i love fog lights keep those going i know you can integrate them here they look better down below now we do have a painted it's not a paint it's actually a plastic panel it's not a real skid plate but it's actually loose, but there's a real plastic plate down there. So but you get a tow hook. You do get a tow hook. That counts for something. And when we get to the off-road test following this review, we'll see how that goes. Now let's check out wheel and tire. I haven't gotten over this yet. So this wheel, and the way I, I can tell this is that work the other day, I had this part next to a GMC pickup and it had this exact wheel on it. And I realized that, oh, this is a part spin off of the full size 1500 Sierra wheel and tire. Code? What? Huh? COVID? <laughs> Maybe. The good news is you share the lug pattern with the full-size truck, which means you have a ton of wheel options if you want to change it. My only thing is I don't think this, it just looks too big for this truck. And optically you're like, man, just put an 18 on there. I think it would ride better, handle better, better mileage, all that kind of stuff. That being said, it's a good looking wheel. I think as 20s go, it looks good. It's wrapped around a, bitch, a Bridgestone Dueler AT. We've had this tire before. It's actually a very good tire. It's quiet. It performs better than you think it will. Kind of along like a Yoko Geolander all-terrain quiet capable great for dirt not for mud but better than you think it is let's talk about the step craig you see this guy oh you got it extended all the way uh look no that that's just what it is at all oh. times okay oh. this is standard on the denali package and i really genuinely don't prefer them for me it's just a preference but you can just unbolt them and take them off not a big deal they're so far out and the truck's not tall enough that i need them now some people would like them but for, I don't think, do you even need it, Craig? Do you, like, can uh, you get no. it without and, it? And stay tuned if that may affect us on the hill test. I think it's going to, well, that's the thing is your breakover angle is now atrocious because of it and they don't come up. So yeah, your breakover drops that much. That's <laughs> <sighs> a lot. So anyways, as far as steps go, some of the worst, the best step is on the 2,500 uh, Denali Ultimate mm. power step. Things great. So just take it off. You don't like maybe it. Maybe we'll make an ultimate someday of this. Ooh, maybe so. Maybe the interior panels will match better. Okay. Well, fuel door, full pass. Look they at that. Look, they look figured at it that. out. God, man, full points on that. I wish everyone could just, just do that. Good job. Out back, we do not have a selectable locker. We have a G80 or an Eaton automatic locker. So that's good. We'll try that off road too. We've had actually pretty good results of that now that we know how to navigate it better. It's not a bad option. It's not a bad option. It gets the job done. Come around back. You get the sidestep, which I'm sorry, that's just the best one that Thank is you. available today. Nothing to break, it just works at all times. And it's not an option, it just comes. No, it just has yeah. that. All right, coming right back, Craig, you have a good backup camera on the tailgate. You also have big brand of GMC, and you've got Denali here to pe so people know how important you are, how much truck you can afford. And right here, Craig, that's where your trailer light harness would go. This is a cap uh, that can okay. come off in the back. And then here's your tow chain hooks for the what? trailer hitch that you don't have. Oh. I'm a little confused about that. I guess if you need a tow trailer, you just hook your chains and drag it. Let me know how you would solve that below. All that out of the way, let's hop under the hood. 
Ladies and gents, are you ready for all the goodness up front? Got the hot hood and burn in my hand, and there's no prop rod. This what? is really hot. Hold on. I think that's the right spot. We'll see. Okay, all right. Whew. That was no bueno. 2.7 liter single turbo, big boy turbo, by the way, which you can hear when you're outside the truck, not inside the truck. It's over here. It's good for 310 horsepower and two, I'm sorry, 430 foot pounds of torque. That's a lot of shove. Unfortunately, these 20s are kind of heavy, but look, this does a good job of ignoring that weight and just powering through it. No complaints here. This is the same power you'll find in the ZR2 Chevy version of this truck. Now, something I want to point out compared to the trail boss we had recently from Chevrolet, this is way quieter at idle and it's at any RPM. And I think it's this panel right here. I'd have to go back and look at the trail boss video, but I think that sound editing panel over the injectors was not on the trail boss. It seems to make a huge difference. Huge difference. It makes the whole thing feel more refined. It performs identically. In fact, it feels, this has the higher tune than the trail boss did. They feel the same to me. Uh, maybe it's the wheels that are coming to play there, but nonetheless, if you own a trail boss, there's your hack. Find that part and get it. And I don't think we got all this under the trail boss. Oh yeah, that's true. We had no hood dampeners at all. I do remember that. Maybe this Probably is Probably we can't is. hear the turbo. Probably can't hear the turbo as much, but you know what? It's a quiet, refined space. And speaking of that space, let's go check it out. Uh, now that I'm taking over, it's time for professional grade. So <laughs> Denali here, to, uh, like Brian says, so you know what you're driving and everybody else knows what you're driving. And Brian, let's check out if it's dampened. Oh, yes. Dampened as it should be. No auto down or auto up. Interesting, but GM yeah. always does tailgate things. But it's light. Yo, it's light. Wow. It doesn't matter. You don't but need it. You can measure things, you know, when you catch your big fish, so you can make sure you set the record. Mm -hmm. And there's no, uh, you know, mobile home porch here, but look at this, Brian. You these little tabs, and then you pull this up, and look at that actually kind of convenient. A watertight storage with a drain, so you can actually let some stuff go if you need to. But you can put, like, your toe strap. Well, not toe straps, not for this one, but other ones you could toe straps okay. and, and whatever else you want in there. That's pretty cool. That That's a really neat feature. Needs to be in more. Moving on to the, the bed. Um, Brian... Chevy does truck things well. They put tie-down straps where they need to be, and up front up here, there's one front up and lower. That's the way it should be. This GM Tech Liner, GMC Tech Liner, is really good. And then we get an inverter here, an outlet of 400 watts. Oh, you can charge a laptop. You can charge a laptop. Can't really do much there. It's maybe a speaker. I don't know. A speaker that would work. So there's that. All right, Brian, let's check out the interior of a really hot truck on a 110-degree day that's painted in black. Should be fun. Let's start with the door. The door gets this nice quilted trim um, or padding, which is part of the Denali like grade, professional like grade. Bone. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. And then you get this tan pull handle, which is padded, which is nice. And then inside that handle, Brian, you get the uh, the same texture you got in the Trail Boss, which is very interesting. Digital um, camo? Okay. Yeah, yeah, digital camo. Yeah, okay. looks good. You can put a water bottle here or maybe, I don't know, a juice box. Or the kids, here's what the kids do. They just put the trash there. That's okay. how that yep, works. Of course. Moving on to the actual seat. Um, we, well, we don't have a lot of room. I want to sit behind Brian here. Well, this is this is Brian, where he would sit normally. And um, actually, well, you know, it's, it's not bad. Now, I could go for it a little more, too. You, so you I, could pimp it out a little less. Um, you can see some kids already messed something up here. But... Um, it's you know it, it's kind of tight though i will will say i have headroom but the because of the motor for the sunroof it's really encroaching on the, i'm looking yeah. at it um but okay. it does work it is a mid-sized truck i do get a nice fold down that's nice armrest cool. and, cool. and, and i do get rear ac Ooh, wait, there, wait toyota did you hear that tacoma yeah okay. so there's a lot of mid-sized trucks that don't have it and you get cup holders here like a full-size truck that's smart no, that though, Brian, get in here and let's see, what, see uh, if you fit. This is behind you, which I don't think is... Yeah, I could definitely move that seat up. Let's, let's we'll probably should do that. I, yeah. Just realistically, if I were to ride behind someone, it'd okay, be, that, it'd be about that's like cool. that, yeah. right? Okay. That's doable for someone on the front. That's fair. That's I'm fair. gonna use a step. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I do, I'm now over the truck. Okay. And I come back down. I bet okay. knee room's actually okay. Uh, okay. Um, headroom is not what I would call... Ideal? Possible. Oh, oh okay. Hang on. Yeah, there's not even an awkward fix for this. It just doesn't, I'm just, mm. it's just not going to work for me. Mm. But the Trail Boss, I did kind of fit in. Because it doesn't have It's a, it's a sunroof. Yeah. All right, Brian, let's you under seat storage. Pull it up. You just, well, no, that's actually a little handle. You have to pull the handle. There we go. Pull the handle and you pull it up. Yep. Okay, we got it up. And we got a lot of jack storage. You could put some things in here. Not, not, not going to deny not that. You much. could put a few things and it wouldn't fly around. Oh, that's some, good. It would be contained. Slots. You put some Hot Wheels down here. Yeah. So, yeah. or, you know, actually, you know what you could do? Those kids, they just, they do that. So that's go, problem solved. solved. Okay. Put the seat back down. Let's go front. Moving on the front, Brian. Let's start with the door because we got a nice wood trim there. You know what that kind of, kind of wood that is? Um, antique 
Snow White. Pop. Antique is close. Teak. Oh, it's teak. like a boat, so it's a teak oh, uh, okay. trim there. Supposed to be. And um, we'll talk more about that in a second. But you get a padded armrest. You get that same color in the back up here, and the same herringbone kind of texture on that pad there. You get a nice little pocket here. I'm not. Maybe you can put your cell phone here. That's definitely phone worthy. And you can put a bottle there. there. It's not a lot of storage, but there's some. There's some. But let's do the cell phone test, Brian. Cell phone test. Oh, yep. Put it in there. See if it holds it. Oh, yep. Okay, holds well, uh, use your error there. Okay. It does hold it. It doesn't fall through, so <laughs> Brian doesn't know how to put a cell phone in a truck. Um, let's get in and see what we got going there on. Go. Now, um, do you hear that? Yes. It has sensed us approaching the vehicle with the key and is cooling the interior with outside air. Pretty interesting. Automatically. Pretty I like interesting. That. Okay, but let's uh, start this and see what you get. Because you get a bigger display. Hopefully, you can see this with the sun. You get a bigger display up here than you do... Um, in the normal Colorado or the base Colorado, so that is good. It's a wider screen. You get the same information. It's just laid out uh, wider, uh, a little wider format. More surface area. More surface area. This is the main screen we kind of sat at, um, so that's nice. Well, the really cool thing here is you can put the map on here, Google Maps. You can have maps inside your screen. Well, why would you need that? Because then you can put Waze on over here for the police, you know, and uh, in case you needed to get some requests. Well, just data feed. Safely. Just, yeah, safely. Data feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safely. Um, but, Brian, you do get your headlight controls up here, which work. Um, you do get and those extra are, parking those, lights. Those are hard key, which Hard keys, nice. so quick, or quick key, whatever. Um, we like that. It's really easy to get to. A lot of people complain there's not a stock for that, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, dual zone climate control, not triple zone. Um, you got all your HVAC controls here, some padding here for maybe, well, and then you've got your vents here. We do think these should be swapped. Maybe future updates will have that in a refresh because when you push this up, it's hard to get the vent up. It never but, gets to your face, it gets to your shoulder. But it does work fine because these cool ventilated seats work great. Yeah. In fact, some of the best ones we've actually experienced because you get actually ventilation here yeah, really and good. here. Really solid. And it, if you have it on high, you can tell a difference. In fact, I keep putting it on medium or low because it's just, it's too much. Um, wireless charging up here works great. USB-A, USB-C, and of course your mode selections and all that fun stuff for off-roads, which we'll get to in another video. And electronic parking brake. Brian, I did count all the textures up here. We got a lot of textures. There are 11 textures, okay. which does break it up and it's less black. Look, the Colorado we had, we didn't like because it was all black and there were zero different textures. They're all the same. That problem. They fixed it in here. We got the uh, opposite problem. We got, uh, we well, we got a new, some we, wood. That we got a new it. problem. That's teak. Yeah. What is that? The uh, Nolly? I don't, uh, Denali, Teak? I, okay, I'm, not okay, real, okay. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm okay with the Denali, I'm okay with the Teak, but they don't match. Yeah. That's just uh, like a misstep. Best thing though is I got Brian's wallet, I'm gonna take that right now, uh, because before we do that, we gotta take it on the road and see what this puppy can do. All right, Brian, it's time to test out what all this torque gets us in this four banger. It's a big bore, baby. 2.7, baby. Sweet what kind boy. of modes, what, what setting are we gonna be in? We've done a lot of testing. Normal mode seems to be the best. Okay. With traction off and four auto, so I can brake boost. Okay, let's do it, hit it. Build it, 3,000 RPM, dump the brake. Okay, a little show. Not bad. It's just at 5,800, five to 58, no one's home. And finally, 60 miles an hour. 9.05 with me in it. Okay. Um, now, but we did some runs without me in it. And, and what you was, get? When, on the first run was a 790. Okay, so crack, cracked, cracked eight. Cracked eight. Okay. But the trail boss, I thought cracked like six something. I thought it did too. And it has technically yeah. less torque than this does. It should be lighter though. It is lighter because the wheel and tire package. Yeah. And maybe it's just 20s or 20s. It could with. be as so much as that. And yeah. 109 degrees is not helping anybody. Not, no, so or keep me. that in mind. Yeah, or, yeah, <laughs> or me. But also in the world of turbos, they are, that number is what it makes in ideal conditions. Yeah. So when you get to extreme temperatures like this, it's not like an it. NA motor is not affected nearly as much as this is. Fair enough. So that's true. But at elevation, this is not affected nearly as much as an NA is. There's you, always a trade-off. Trade trade right, right. Yeah. So anyways, let's get into riding drive track. I think it rides fine. It could ride better. The yeah. 20s aren't helping anything in ride and drive. Nope. But it's totally passable. Like no mm -hmm. real glaring problems. No, uh, as far as sight lines and just uh, seating position, I we're talking about off camera. I like this current generation. You like the previous generation yeah. more so than I did. I like this generation. I think it's way more modern exterior and interior. I like the design aesthetic to it. I think you're on there. And I think they're sharp. And I think their ergonomics are okay. I think there's yeah. some minor, minor quibbles here and there. Um, but I think, yeah, the biggest thing you're saying is that the 20s are not helping some things. But that's right and drive all Driving around town and through like a Starbucks parking lot. Uh, Get the bling, baby. You know what? The midsize is nice. Oh, that's the best part. And by the way, the midsize with the wide track width, which is what this has, mm -hmm. is kind of the hack. 
It is. Right, because like you have presence, you have high speed stability. It mm -hmm. feels very, very Towing planted. Towing stability. We towed with the Colorado version yep. of this. It was very stable, same power plant as this. Yep. Major benefits, whereas like a Ranger or previous Colorado is narrow and tall, they feel a little more affected by crosswinds and stuff like that than this does. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. And ergonomically, if you didn't get the sunroof, I'm not going to even acknowledge that as a problem because you don't have to get that. Right. I'm very comfortable in here. Absolutely. And Denali gives you ventilated seats, which in this temperature is phenomenal. Now, <laughs> yes. steering, it's E-Pass, it works. Works. It's not totally numb. Right. It's better than some of the early E-Passes have out there. The 8-speed, we, we can't ignore that. This thing is riddled with problems in its history, not right here. We've had zero hiccups. At all. We've in any of the modes. Though. In fact, I've put it in tow haul yep. mode in my neighborhood because I have a lot of steep hills. I would hold gears. And it kind of, it's perfect. It's kind it's, of perfect. It's good. Yeah. And when you get it on rapid fire, it will, now granted it's warmer right now, in the cold mornings, it'll bang a shift and stay on boost where you want it to, which is really nice. And one thing this truck does, we talked about the previous one, this oh, yeah. thing maintains temp. They have over-engineered cooling on this. Yes. This thing, when you turn it off, 198 right now and we've 197 just 196, 196 <laughs> going down we just ran 0 60 runs in high temps like that's impressive this thing should be at least 200 by now and it's not even that's it just it never has a problem your towing in yeah no big deal. A problem so um the 27 is guttural mm -hmm. and this one has underhood dampening which it's gets lot, rid of the ticking sounds it's a lot quieter inside here way quieter but you still have cool turbo sounds outside of it yes, which i do. appreciate that yes. all right with all that said Good package, what do you think? I think it's good. I love all the mid-size refreshes. I can't wait to see the Ranger, and I can't yeah. wait to drive the Tacoma and compare it to this. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned here for all of that. We'll get it to you as soon as we have our butts in the seats. Thank you. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>